It is one of the biggest education events in the country, and it's right here in Austin. Each year, hundreds of panels, workshops, and dozens of speakers attend South by EDU, and they aim to modernize education and teaching. And even though the fifth annual South by EDU is not until March, you've got a chance right now to vote on who shows up and what they talk about. And here to talk about it all this morning and where you can go to cast your vote and opinion is Greg Rosenbaum, South by EDU. Producer, good morning to you. Good morning. It's great to be here. Great to have you. First, for those who may have never heard of South by EDU, of course, we just gave a brief description, but this will be the fifth year for it. Correct. Yeah, we are the four days prior to interactive film and music, sort of the main South by Southwest events, kicking off in March. So we're March 9th through 12th this year, mm -hmm. uh, and this will be our fifth year doing it. It's an innovations and learning event. Yeah, and it was kind of small, kind of a side party, but it's taken on a life of its own. It, it really has. It's grown each year. Last year we had 6,000 attendees from 35 different countries in every state in the union. So it's been a very exciting experience to see it really expand and evolve over the last five years. Mm -hmm. What are some different things that educators can come and experience and learn and take away? Sure, I think, I think the biggest differentiator about South by EDU is, is really the audience that's convened. It, it, one, of the, one of the things that we like to strive to do is bring together a diverse group of thought leaders within education. So we're thinking about teachers and administrators, but also policymakers, pro professors and provosts, the, the whole nine yards. So we're really excited about getting those communities together in a mashup kind of way. And I'm sure people think that you guys sit around a big conference table, decide who's coming, what they're talking about, but you want the public and those attending to actually weigh in and shape what happens there. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we, we really consider ourselves a community platform. And so we use something, a tool that we created called Panel Picker to take in submissions from the community, which is what we did in July. And once we have those submissions in hand, we then flip them and invite the community to get in there, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down based on whether they like or dislike a section, and then even go in the comments field and really add their, their feedback about, well, I think this is good, but you should add this voice, or let's talk about this topic in addition to what you're addressing in there. It's a great way to get a preview of what what's next to new, what, what might be at the event in March, and, and give us your opinion and voice in the process. Yeah, where can people find the panel picker? So you can go to our website, it's sxswedu.com, and if you go slash panel picker, mm -hmm. which is just one word, panel and picker, um, you can also visit it, the, once you get to our website, there's, there are many ways to navigate to uh, panel pickers. All well. right, fun name, and have you guys done this before to get feedback? Yeah, this will be the, the fourth year we're using it for South by EDU, and South by Southwest at large has used it for the last seven or eight years. And it's working. It is. <laughs> All right, Greg, thank you so much for coming in this morning, and, and good luck as you get in ideas and, and shape the next South by EDU. Thanks so much.